Sharks are the apex predator in the ocean. They have evolved over 400 million years. And over this 400 million years, they have developed a range of super senses. Hi guys, welcome to Ginger and Sea. My name is Greg Holder, and today we are gonna be talking about one of the shark's super senses, and that is gonna be smell. So let's dive straight in. Smell is one of the most talked about senses of sharks, and even though they are maybe slightly dramatized sometimes, they're often quite a good representation of shark smell, and that is the shark's sense of smell is extremely powerful. Now, what is often said is that sharks can smell one drop of blood in an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and that's not far from the truth, and in fact, they can sense one part per 20 million parts of seawater, so they have an extremely sensitive sense of smell. And their olfactory organs, or their smell organs, are actually very sensitive to amino acids, which make up proteins in blood. And depending on the sea conditions, they can in fact smell very small amounts of blood from possibly kilometers away if that blood, even massively diluted, has managed to travel to them through currents and water movement. This is quickly where I want to touch on a factor of the sense of smell that's quite often misquoted or misunderstood, and that is the fear that if you are bleeding in the water, you are at an increased risk of shark attack. And I want to tell you now that it is not true. There's been plenty of research and experiments done looking into how sharks behave and interact with different smells. And it's been proven that sharks have a very minimal or no reaction to human blood compared to the reaction they have when they smell fish blood or other marine animal blood in the water. As this is their food source, they know the smell of fish and they know that it means that they might get some food. They don't recognize this, the smell of human blood and therefore they don't identify it as a food source. The experiment that was done, and you can check out the video here, was done on how sharks behaved in the ocean with different bloods and you can see how differently the sharks behave from fish blood to human blood. So even though sharks' sense of smell is very powerful, it is also very sensitive and they really do choose which smells they ignore and which smells they pursue. Now one problem with smell, which is something that we as humans also experience with smell, is that with nostrils very close together, we really struggle to identify where a smell is coming from. You know what I mean. So how do sharks get around this? Well, what they do is they actually swim in a zigzag pattern when they identify a smell that they want to pursue. So as a smell spreads out from its source, the water current and direction will influence the way the smell spreads and will sort of make a corridor of smell from the source. So what the sharks do is they swim in this zigzag pattern, crossing that corridor of smell, investigating as it gets stronger, they know they're going in the right direction each time they cross that corridor or that odor plume from the original source. Now, interestingly, hammerheads have an even bigger advantage than most other sharks, as not only do they have much larger olfactory organs or smell organs, therefore they can just there's more surface area for them to take in these tiny, tiny amounts of chemicals. They have a much more sensitive sense of smell, but also due to the fact that their nares or their nostrils are much further apart than other sharks because they're actually on the edge of their hammer-shaped head or their cephalofoil, this means they actually already have a better sense of directional smell as they can sense if a smell is coming in stronger into the left nostril than the right nostril or vice versa. So they already, before they start doing their zigzag pattern and turning their head from side to side, they already actually have a better idea of where this smell is actually coming from. So there you go guys, sharks smell really well, but they are very picky on what they ignore and what they pursue. And hammerheads have an even more hyped up super sense of smell as they have a bit of directional smell as well as larger olfactory organs. But even though this sense of smell is so good, sharks use all of their different senses combined 
to really become that top apex predator that they are in the ocean. So make sure you check out other videos that are coming to my channel about the other super senses of sharks and how they use them. Thank you so much for joining today, guys. I hope you got some value out of this. If you enjoyed today's video, then do give that like button a hit. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to learn more about shark senses, shark biology, shark conservation, and marine conservation in general. I hope you really enjoyed today's video, guys, and I'll see you at the next one.